how to fix the Valorant error that says this version of Vanguard requires secure boot to be enabled. Now I'll be demonstrating this on an Asus laptop, but this should work on all different models of computers and laptops. Now to go and fix this, the first thing we need to do is just shut down your computer like so. And once your computer's turned off, we need to go and click on the power button. And while the computer's starting up, you need to hold down the F2 key to bring up the BIOS menu. Now if the F2 key doesn't bring up the BIOS menu, you can also try F10, F12, or also the delete key on your keyboard. These are all different key combinations to bring up the BIOS settings, and this just depends on what computer you're using. Now your BIOS window may look slightly different to mine, but basically what we need to do here is come over to the advanced settings. So I can just press the F7 key on my keyboard, and that's going to bring me over to this window here. Now the first thing you need to do is scroll over to this option called boot, and you need to make sure that the fast boot is disabled like this. You then need to scroll across to security and we're looking for an option here called secure boot. So mine's right at the bottom. I'm going to press the enter key to select this and you need to make sure that the secure boot is enabled. So sometimes you can just click on this to go and enable it and other times it may be grayed out like you see on the screen here. So if this is grayed out then what you need to do is come back over to the previous window and you'll see two options here for administrator a password and also use a password. So what you need to do is click on each of these and make sure that you have a password set up for your computer. I already have a password set so it says installed next to both of these options. Now another thing that you may need to do and another thing that may work for you is if you come back down to secure boot, you then need to scroll down and click on key management. If you have an option here to go in reset your keys to their original defaults, then you want to go ahead and select this and reset all of the keys on your computer. And once you've done this, it's likely that the secure boot option is still grayed out. But if we just go and save our changes and exit out of the bias menu, so I'm going to scroll scroll over to save and exit. You can then go and select save changes and exit. And then once your computer's restarted, you can try heading inside of a Valorant game and that should have now solved that issue. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.